there, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework's Video Solutions. So today we're gonna to look at an integral, and I really think that the most important thing when you look at an integral is kind of getting an idea of what to use, which rule. We generally have two rules right now, u substitution and integration by parts. So let's talk about each. Okay, so when we wanna use u substitution, there's going to be two parts. There's generally going to be, um, a lot of times there's something raised to a power. Okay, so think about something like um, 3x squared and then x cubed plus 15 to the 500th power. Okay, so something like that. And what you want to look for is you want to look for um, a derivative. A derivative, I like to say a derivative pair. So here, this is x cubed plus 15, this is one portion. The derivative of this is 3x squared, and look, we have 3x squared out here. And it doesn't have to match exactly, there can be a constant in the way, and you'll see some of those later. But this is when you wanna say, well, I'm gonna let u be this x cubed plus 15, and if I notice du is 3x squared dx, well, look at that. I have a dx and I have a 3x squared. That's how you know u substitution is going to be used there. So this I see natural log of 2x. I know natural log derivative 1 over x. This is x cubed. I don't see a derivative pair. So u substitution is just not going to work here. Okay, so then I go to my, if u sub doesn't work, because u sub is generally the first one we learn, maybe the first one you check. It is a little easier, so I tend to check that first. It's easier to look for a derivative and a, der or der a portion and a derivative pair. Okay, so then I'm going to go to my integration by parts. My integration by parts says uv minus the integral of v du. Okay, and that might not mean a lot to you. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to call one part of our integral u. And we're going to call the other part dv. Now, how to choose. So this is important. Choosing which part to call you. You want to choose the thing, uh, you want the portion that if you were to instead deal with its derivative, so the portion with a derivative that is nicer to deal with. And uh, that's nicer, we'll put in quotes, okay? So something that's nicer to deal with. So for example, looking at this, we have x cubed and we have the natural log of 2x. Well, if we let u be x cubed, then du is going to be 3x squared dx. 3x squared's not ugly, but it's not any nicer than x cubed. So let's see what happens if we let u instead be the natural log of 2x. Well, then du, remember, it's going to be a chain rule here. We're going to say 1 over 2x times the derivative of the inside, so what we're taking the natural log of, which is 2. So we just get 1 over x dx. I don't know about you, but 1 over x dx is way nicer and easier to deal with than the natural log of 2x. And why do we want it to be nicer? Look, du is the thing we're taking the integral of. Right, we got v du we're taking the integral of. So we want it to be nicer, easier to deal with. So we're definitely going to let u be this natural log of 2x. And that's generally what I look at. I'm gonna look at the two portions of my integral and say, hey, which of these is nicer if I were dealing with its derivative rather than it? All right, so let's get rid of all of this now. Well, probably could have kept the formula there. That's okay, we'll write it again. Okay, integral, integration by parts is uv minus the integral of v du. We already said we're going to let u be the natural log of 2x because then du is 1 over x dx. Okay, my dx is a little messed up there. All right, and so then um, we're going to say, well, what are we going to let be dv? Well, dv, and a lot of people put dv here because what happens is if we let x cubed be dv, we are actually going to integrate to get back to v. So derivative of v, you integrate to get back to v. And that is basic integration rule. You're going to take your power, increase it by 1, and divide by that new power. 
So V is going to be X to the fourth over four. Okay, so far so good. All right, so now we really can just sort of plug it all in. So let's do that. So we've got UV. Well, U is the natural log of 2X. So natural log of 2X times V. So times V, V is this X uh, to the fourth over four or one fourth X to the fourth. And that's what I'm going to use. And I'm actually gonna put it right here. One fourth X to the fourth times the natural log of 2X minus the integral of V du. So V again is one fourth X to the fourth. DU, remember DU is the thing that became easier. So one over X DX. All right, we are going to clean this up for sure. For right now, I don't love it. So let's say, I'm not gonna do much to the left side. I'm gonna kind of keep the left side as is. I'm gonna pull out this one fourth here and I'm going to say, we're gonna work with this little thing right here. So if we kind of come over here to the side, we say the integral of one fourth X to the fourth times one over X, we really pull out one fourth, right? So one fourth times the integral. Let's bring this down a little bit before you can't see what I'm doing. And then x to the fourth times one over x is x to the fourth over x, which we all know is x cubed. Okay, so this thing is x cubed, all right? So that's what I'm gonna turn this thing into. So let's bring out my one fourth. My integral sign goes back. This becomes x cubed dx, the beauty of a whiteboard. Okay, now I can do something with this. All right, so we're going to, nothing's happening over here. Normally I'd say, okay, do x to the fourth times natural log of x all over four, but I'm not going to. And I think you're gonna see why actually very shortly. So let's just make it, you know, clean it up a little bit. We're just gonna get rid of our dot for multiplication. Minus one fourth, okay, so minus one fourth. And then we have that x cubed. Well, we already know to take the integral, we say x to the fourth all over four plus C. Okay, so now you're thinking we're done. Yeah, we're not done. Or you might be thinking we have to clean this up, we have to multiply this. And normally you'd be on the right track, okay? Multiplying those and getting one fourth X to the fourth times natural log of two X minus maybe X to the fourth over 16 plus C. But generally speaking, teachers and textbooks do one thing. When they see something that's uh, repeated, a factor. Remember, x, one fourth x to the fourth is the same as x to the fourth over four. So the fact that I've got this factor in both of my terms, remember here's my subtraction sign, so I have two terms here, means I can take this factor out. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna take x to the fourth over four out, and what am I left with? I'm left with natural log of two x minus one fourth plus c. Okay, and my plus C really, I could have just waited till the end to put it in in case you said, hey, listen, you took something from a factor uh, that wasn't in the C. Remember, a C is just your constant plus any constant doesn't change the answer to this. So we really could have just left the adding the plus C to the end. So this is okay if I just had kind of put a plus C here and left it final. Maybe I would have multiplied this X to the fourth over 16. I really don't think that's what your textbook answer would look like though because Teachers and textbooks are kind of in love with factoring because it's nice and neat and puts everything in a cute little package. So you're done here. You know when to use U substitution. You look at it something and you see its derivative sitting there. Use U substitution. Generally, if you can't use that, parts is a good idea. You want to say, hey, what's going to be U? What's going to be DV? U is the thing that would be way easier if they had given you the derivative because that's what you're going to use. I hope this helped. Place your comments um, or questions in the comment section. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go ahead and send us your problem next time you get stuck.